Hi, let's take a look at the new Toyota truck alignment procedure. This is impacting the following models that you see here, the new Tundra platform, Sequoia, as well as the Land Cruiser. Today we're going to walk through what this procedure looks like live in person on the vehicle here. So let's flip over to Winline and see what it looks like. So I've pulled up the Toyota Tundra vehicle and I'm presented now with a list of vehicle height types. If I go ahead and click this I button, it will open up the Toyota alignment procedure from their service documentation step by step on how to determine which vehicle option I should select. I'm going to start by taking a series of measurements, A, B, C, and D, around the vehicle and do some math to determine which specification I should use. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So now we're going to measure point A, which is the ground clearance to the front of the center cam bolt tip. So I have my millimeter tape measure here. I actually have a second tape measure to create a flat edge surface because this point happens to be hanging over the center of my alignment rack. I'll go ahead and put that at the center of the front cam bolt. I'll hold this as level as I can, straight up and down, side to side, and look at the bottom of my reference here. It looks to be about 285 millimeters. So now we're gonna measure point B, which is the ground to the center of the lower arm bolt. Let's take a look. Two hundred and ninety five millimeters. On to point C, which is going to be the ground to the center of the front wheel. Three hundred and eighty five millimeters. Finally, our last measuring point D, which is going to be ground to the center of the rear wheel. Three hundred and eighty five millimeters. So we've taken the four measurements, A, B, C, and D, and we're going to proceed to the next step. If I scroll down here, I'll see the workflow. It's going to ask me to calculate C minus A and D minus B. C minus A, we're left with 100 millimeters, and D minus B is 90. It now says select the closest value to the higher vehicle height type value from the vehicle height type table. If I remember correctly, my higher value was 100, C minus A. I'm then going to, from this row, select the value that is the higher. When C minus A is higher, the procedure asks you to place ballast weight on the rear side, loading directly above the center of the rear axle, and then rechecking the vehicle height until the rear is plus or minus 2.5 millimeters from that table. Looking at this table, my higher value of C minus A was 100, it's closest to 99. I now need to get D minus B plus or minus 2.5 millimeters of 103. As I load that rear axle with more weight, that lower arm measurement will go closer to the ground and therefore get me towards this 103. I've now loaded the vehicle's rear axle per the vehicle manufacturer specifications and I'll remeasure this point. Point B is now 282 millimeters. With the vehicle loaded and my rear measurement taken, I'm now at 103 millimeters as called for by the Toyota procedure and I can begin my alignment.